how do you create an Etsy shop update? This is something I never understood. I see videos about it all the time and I'm like, where, how? What do you do? What's the process? Uh, how do you get started in a shop update? So I have an Etsy, but I don't, I don't think I know what I'm doing really. Before we get into it, my name is Jesse and I run a art, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all this stuff where I just show my journey, my process. I run a sticker shop on Etsy called Sticky Ramen, but I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just putting stickers and hoping for the best, but I got four orders this week. So I'll be packing those orders in this video. Something I never usually do, but I will be yapping the whole time in the background talking about my game plan maybe you guys can chime in give me some tips because i don't know what i'm doing but i have an idea for what a shop update is and i think i want to do a shop update in my mind it's just having a bunch of new sticker designs or something or prints on my etsy but i'm not sure so if you guys know and you want to leave me a comment that'd be cool but yeah this video i'm gonna be yapping about that and then at the end i'm gonna be doing some art practice and stuff like that while i'm still yapping but anyways thank you for being here shout out to my patreons shout out to you guys happy monday uh drop a like sub all that stuff i hear likes and subs help the algorithm i guess i don't know but uh let's let's yap Okay, Yappy Sosa is back, and uh, I'm, I want to talk about what I'm doing right here. I made a little thank you cards. I printed them on my printer. I fixed my printer, by the way. If you guys didn't know, my Canon Pixma Pro 100, I hate it still, but I fixed it. Anyways, I'm making little thank you cards. I do them on cardstock, and I put these in all of my Etsy orders. It just basically says, like, thank you for supporting my small business, and you're helping me pursue an uh, art career. But anyways, I can't even explain to you guys how excited I am that I got four Etsy. I love packing orders. It's, like, fun to me. But right now, my packaging is kind of janky. I have, like, uh, some plastic bags that I bought, like, so probably maybe a year or two ago. I bought like a thousand of them and I'm, I still have, I have at least 500 left. I don't know how many. But yeah, it's basically writing everybody's name on the little thank you card. And then I put a little free sticker, like a little sticky ramen guy. And I put them in a the plastic and I put them in an the envelope. Well, it's just like a little white envelope, nothing special. And then I seal it with a uh, thank you sticker that I made a little ramen guy. And then that's basically it for how I pack my orders. I've been watching a few other Etsy packing videos and some of you guys put like a lot of stuff in your packing and I'm like trying to think what can I add to mine? I, I want to make better thank you cards. I don't know, but I want my envelopes to be a little bit more square, not as rectangles. Like I feel like I'm wasting a lot of packaging because my stickers are small and I feel like the envelope should be small. But I went to Michael's and their envelopes that are like our small squares are they're expensive, man. So I was like, yeah, I'll just stick with these for now. Man, I just, yeah. I had a question for you guys. If you guys could leave me like a comment and give me some tips or something like that. I don't get too much traffic on my Etsy. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about SEO or how to work any of that stuff, but I mainly do fan art on my Etsy. Like I'll make like superheroes and whatever movies are trending, you know, like stuff like that. But uh, I don't have too many designs on my Etsy. So I don't know if that's a problem. Should I have more designs? Would that be a good way to get more traffic? That way I have like more search options, searchable options. I don't know if that makes any sense. But um, I don't know, I'm, I'm debating on that, but I, it's a sticker shop, I call it Sticky Ramen, but I'm debating on changing it to my my social media name, Base World, because I kind of want to put prints on my Etsy. So if you, if you guys you know, if you guys think anything, if you guys think it would be good to add prints and just completely drop the Sticky Ramen, because I like the Sticky Ramen, but I feel like it's kind of like different branding from everywhere on social media on Base, except for Etsy. So I kind of feel like it's a little confusing. Maybe that's hurting my traffic. I don't know. I never post my Etsy to my social media because I've seen somebody talking about it saying when you post your Etsy to social media and you get traffic from your social media, Etsy takes a bigger cut and they charge you more fees. I don't know if this is true, but ever since I saw that video, I've stopped doing that. Uh, I don't know if you guys follow me on social media, but I used to post it like every week, maybe that I had, um, new stickers up or something like that but ever since that video i was like no way i ain't doing it no more anyways let me know in the comments back to the main question of this video i really want to know this how do you prepare for a shop update what is a shop update a lot of the videos i watch they're already like reacting to their shop update launching how do you prepare for a shop update maybe i should search that how do you prepare i don't know i haven't seen them usually they pop up on my recommended on youtube but they haven't been so maybe i have to go out of my way to search it but if you guys, have, if you guys know any ideas like how do you prepare for a shop date what's a shop date give me your definition of what a shop date is because to me this is all new like this stuff i'm like trying to learn about how to sell art because i never really sold art before i've done commissions but i never like sold merchandise 
I've done like print on demand, but I feel like that doesn't count because I just kind of put my art on a website and it just printed it. And I don't think I got any sales from that either. So I don't even know, but uh, yeah, this is all new to me. So any tips in the comments would be mucho appreciated. Thank you. set up my webcam above my computer to record to record me like drawing because i said because i talked about it in another video where i wanted to just like study more and i want to record the process uh so i wanted to try that and i was like oh it'd be cool to have like music and stuff like that and it, it was my first time doing it so it didn't really come out the way i saw it, the way it had in my mind but but i like drawing like non-stop to where i didn't have to like edit anything out but i thought it was pretty cool because you guys get to see the full drawing process of me studying from this book so if you guys are using the taco book to study please let me know your thoughts on it and give me some comments and let's talk about it like it's a, let's give each other some notes if there's something we're stuck on we're trying to figure out because right now there's a part with the the female anatomy it's kind of like it's kind of like confusing and i keep making the the women bodies too buff and like little heads i don't know i'm stuck but yeah ever since i did that batman beyond drawing and i asked for critique from a few artists and rad told me like you should be doing like one to two hours a day yeah, i've been doing about an hour a day there's a couple days where i didn't get in full hour but i did at least two pages and i feel like two pages is not that's not a lot but it's a lot of like brain power like my head was like hurting because i'm trying to like figure it out but anyways i appreciate you guys i hope you guys like these little draw with me i was i'm thinking about making the long form video if you guys like the hour long videos i'm debating on making an extra day where i upload maybe like a wednesday or thursday where i just upload one of those sketch with me's or study with me videos if you guys like that um but yeah last week was just like a tester because i want to stream and i want to stream me learning and getting better at art if you guys want to like level up with me and you guys, if you guys want to watch like a stream maybe like twice a week where we're just like practicing and we're all just feeding each other notes and stuff like that uh, I think that would be pretty cool because usually like when I watch like art streamers or they're teaching uh, so it'd be cool if we all join in at the same level we're all learning together instead of me having to like teach you guys because I don't know I, I want to be able to teach you guys I feel like I'm just like a I'm still like a noob I I've been drawing since like I mean I've been drawing my whole life but like since 2018 is when I actually started drawing and I never really studied anatomy until about 2021 I took a class and I kind of just didn't pursue it i kind of didn't Im implement it into anything uh but now i'm actually like paying attention and i'm actually like learning stuff uh except for drawing girls that's still hard for me it's really hard i can, I can draw a buff girl i might lean beef patty that might work i should do some lean beef patty feather actually anyways i'm yapping i'm sorry uh thank you for watching um happy monday uh I'm getting a new scanner so I could um, scan my art and upload it to the Patreon because I've kind of been not able to do anything with that because my computer, I don't know if you guys know about my computer, but my computer's tanked. Um, everything is just like going downhill this past couple months with my computer, my scanner, everything, cameras. Uh, but uh, I'm slowly getting it back up. So if you guys want to stay updated, make sure you follow the Instagrams, the Twitter. I don't really, I'm not really active on Twitter, but Instagram, I'm always active blue sky uh cara i'm still going threads i don't know there's so many anyways um shout out to patreons if you guys want to join the patreon sticker club uh all my art's over there i'm pretty soon gonna start uploading my comic book over there only to patreon uh until we get until we finish it but um yeah shout out to patreons shout out you guys thank you guys for being here happy monday i'm sorry i'm yapping so much this video didn't, this video is about nothing basically just asking for some tips um let's start a conversation in the comments all right thank you okay bye peace out have a good one thank you bye peace out <laughs>